Hello everyone. So today I want to do a numerical example on positional encoding. So let's take an example. Good boy. The position of the word good is zero. The position of the word boy is one, obviously. And for this example, I'm going to say D is for D is the dimension of the uh, embedding of each word. So starting with the word good, say this is the embedding of the word good, we are going to compute the positional encoding. So if the and dimension of the embedding of the word good is d by 1, the positional encoding must have a dimension of d by 1. So let me write this set of formulas that we are going to use. The first one is like this. The first one is a sign P divided by 10,000 to the power I to the two, two times I divided by 2. While the second formula is like this P 2I plus 1 cos of P divided by 10,000 i divided by d so p is the position so for the word good we are going to use p to be zero p zero let's see what i is so think of i as like a kind of list and the length of this list is d so i runs from zero one two three the length of i is d What we need to do is divide this list by 2 and it's going to become something like this. 0, 0, 1, 1. Why did we divide by 2? Think about it. If i is 0, this is going to be 0 and this is going to be 1. While at the same time, i, I mean, i is 0. So for the first part and the second part of the positional encoding, i is 0 but the we are just uh, using different we are just for the first part we are using sign the second part is cos so let me make it clear here this is going to become like this this is the final positional encoding for the word good so the first part here i is 0 and p is 0 right uh, let's plug in everything sign of p is 0 and i is 0 times 0 divided by d is 4 the second part we are going to use cos and it's going to be something like this 10,000 2, 2 times 0 divided by 4 so the, the only difference between the first and the second part is just the, the first in the first part we are using sign the second one we are using cos in the third one we are going to go back to sign and p is zero we're going to say ten thousand two times one divided by four the fourth one we are going to use cos so this is how we keep on changing and this positional encoding when we add it to the embedding of the word good we are going to get a new tensor that has a dimension of d by one so let's do uh, it for the word uh, for the word boy similarly i the same thing the same thing i is uh, see i runs from zero to the length of the embedding 0, 1, 2, 3, we are going to divide this by 2 and it's going to become 0, 0, 1, 1. So the, M, the position I encoding for the word boy, in the first part, i is 0 and p will be 1. Right, so the first one we always use sign p 
here is 1 divided by 10,000. 2 times 1 divided by 4. The second one we use cos. It is going to be 1 divided by 10,000. 2 times 1 divided by 4. The third one we use sine. 1 divided by 10,000. 2 to the power 2 times 1 divided by 4. Similarly, the fourth one we are going to use because this is we, this is how we are going to keep on changing. Finally, the, pos the positional encoding, this is the positional encoding, uh, has a dimension of d by 1. And we are going to add this, add, add it to the embedding of the word boy. And the word boy has, uh, has a dimension of d by 1. Finally, the final tensor of the word boy will also have a dimension of d by 1. So now uh, we can use this in further layers. Thank you very much.